Time has come now for rush repairs on the transit. Let's spin her around close to the curb side. We'll see what's going on. Take a look at sill repairs for this one. It's got a, a little bit of weight reduction going on. Some decent size holes there. So we've got what one, two, three, four. Don't think that's a hole, but we'll need to look at it. And then we've got a wee rust hole there. I've already tried to do repairs on this on the other side. It seemed to be successful. I got a wee bit of damage up here. Right, I've got some tools. Slag hammer, pliers, and a pokey device. Let's actually see how bad this is. Already looking at it, it doesn't seem the best, to be honest. But we need to find out how bad it is so that we can start cutting up the bits of metal to replace it. Now I do want to try and keep as much of the shapes as possible so I'm not going to smash this out just yet because I'll need this to get the shape but we'll have a little prod around and we'll see what we've got Yummy. There's nothing there. Ah, there's the seam sealer. It's basically rotten. There's a 
we about here seems like it's seems like it's okay but I think it's just lots of sealer. soaking in there oh we found out what's wrong with it it's humped I thought it was just a few patches I would have needed to make turns out not it's a full length so that's quite frustrating. Thankfully though, I do have some sheet steel in the workshop. I'll make up some new seals, uh, new sills for this. You can see there. Not very good at all. But it is basically the full length. <sighs> Hi everyone. A few days have actually passed. I I've been fighting with these panels, trying to make them up. Um, I did a little bit more investigation on the rust on the underside, how bad it was. When I took the sill off, the outer sill off, inner sill was rotten as well. So I've actually spent a lot of the time, last couple of days, trying to make up these patch panels for the inner sill. Now, an example here is what I took off for the inner sill. I did record fabricating some of these, but because a lot of it was trial and error, it was just taking me hours and I just couldn't film it. So I just wanted to try and get it done so I can move on to the next stage. So really, I'll just walk through just now basically what I did to make this panel because I had changed it from the original way of doing it. But as we can see here on this particular bit of metal here, there is some sort of curve on it, there is a bend on here. There are the recesses for the drainage. And that's really about it, to be honest. So there's a lip, and then holes for the drainage, or little recesses for the drainage. So before I was trying to clamp it in, I was trying to bend it, I had a bar put across here, clamped down, trying to bend them. And then I was trying to put these recessed parts in and it was just distorting and just being a pain. So what I eventually did was I cut my metal to the length that I needed, to the, the width 
that was a bit longer, uh, a bit wider than what I needed. And then what I had is I had my a little bit of this bar. And this bar actually was the perfect size to create that first lip. So all I really did was, is I just opened up the vise. I put the bar in. And then, not with this hammer. <laughs> it was my ball peen hammer I was using. But uh, with the hammer, I was then just tapping the, the bar down. And that was basically creating the first flange. So I just basically worked across, just like that, scalping this at the same time. That gave me the ridge. Now, what it ended up doing was it would basically give you two lips, basically. It would give you two lips on either side. So you'd have the indent, so it was recessed in, and then there would be a little tail here, and then obviously it would dip off into the rest of the sheet. Now I didn't need this extra one, so what I then did was I just drew a straight line across, took the grinder and cut that off. That was fine. And then to get the recessed parts, all I really did was I put the bar back on where I needed the recess, uh, the recessed parts. So I put the bar back on where I needed the recessed parts, and again, just hammered, just beat that down to give me the drainage holes. So I just repeated that for four times, four panels I made up ultimately to cover that full length. And uh, I've welded them in now. So what we'll do is we'll jump to the van just now. I'll give you a look at what we've welded in. All right, we're back out at the van. So this here is the panels that I've put on. You can see that I've spot, spot welded that, not spot welded, but um, tack, tack welded this in multiple times. What's it they call this again? Stitch welding. So I stitch welded these panels in, you can see that I've fabricated them up. They've got the little recesses there for the, the water drainage. And they've got the lip on them. So it's basically the full length of the van, straight up the top. What I'll do now is I'll just take you off the tripod and we'll give you a closer look. So basically just all the way along. All the way along and up things started getting a little bit messy up here at this top edge because then our sill was also damaged just here just behind this bit but I didn't want to take this sill off and replace that as well because it is actually okay it's just the inner sill that was damaged but uh, we'll have a look now just how it looks on on the underside That's it at the underside of the van, all the way along, up, and then I had this little extra piece here that I needed to add in because it just wasn't long enough. A little bit of seam sealer just across, just to tie up any other wee pinholes, but it's all welded up nevertheless. So that's them, and our cells all done. Now it's time to cut up the outer cells, they've actually just arrived. We'll get them cut up, we'll butt weld them as well. And then we should call that good. So I'm gonna do that on a part two of this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you would have did it differently, please leave in the comments. If you've got any tips or tricks that might help me in the future when I take on a project like this again, leave it in the comments. I'm always up for learning, that's what this channel is all about, sharing knowledge. Uh, so yeah, thanks again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on part two. Bye.